Hey, fourth graders, so now we are starting to work on multiplication. The first thing that I want you guys to think about is your multiplication facts. You need to know those, all right? And so those are something that you should be practicing on a regular basis, and you can play games to practice them. You can use flashcards, however works for you, just as long as you are practicing those and you are memorizing those so that you have those quick and fast, because you're gonna be using those for multiplication, you're gonna be using them for division, you're basically going to be using them for everything else that we do in math in fourth grade and beyond. So you want to make sure that you really, really, really know those multiplication facts. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, our first lesson, our first couple of lessons in math and multiplication deal with using um, a really cool thing that we can do with multiplication. It's called front end multiplication. And I'm going to show you what that means. Okay, so let's say we have, um, let's say we have six times seven. And we know that 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Now, I can use multiples of 10 to help me figure out bigger multiplication facts. So if I just add 0 to the end, and I have 60 times 7, I'm still looking at 6 times 7 is 42. And then there's one zero there, so I add one zero to the end. Because I'm dealing with multiples of 10, and every time you're multiplying by 10, you add zeros to the end, right? Okay, so any number that ends in a zero is a multiple of 10. That's a little trick, and it doesn't matter how many zeros it has at the end, it's still a multiple of 10, so we can do this trick. So we can do 600 times seven, all right? I still am gonna do six times seven is 42, but now I have two zeros. So I'm going to add two zeros to the end, and I have 4,200. I could add zeros to the end of both of my numbers. I could have 600 times 70. Whoa, big numbers, right? But I'm still doing 6 times 7 is 42, and now I'm going to count my zeros on both of my factors. These two numbers I'm multiplying together are my factors. Okay, so both of my factors, and I have 1, 2, 3 zeros, so I'm going to add 1, 2, three zeros to the end, I got 42,000. But I did that so fast, right? I did it so fast in my head, and that can help us then when it comes to estimating when it's multiplication, okay? So let's say I see 52 times 37, and I wanna find an estimate for 52 times 37. Well, I'm gonna round these to the nearest 10, so this is gonna go to 50 and that's going to go to 40. And now I can do quick estimation in my head. 5 times 4 is 20. And then I have two zeros, so I have to add two zeros to the end. So 52 times 47 is about 2,000. And remember, estimation is a really handy tool. Um, if you're having to do some fast math and you don't need the exact answer, estimation is great. Remember, estimation is not giving you an exact answer. And one thing I want to caution you about is you're only going to want to use estimation on problems that tell you to use estimation. So if a problem doesn't tell you to use estimation, then you need to use one of your strategies that we're going to be learning in later lessons about how to find the exact answer. Okay, so let's look at another example of using estimation. I'm going to do it down here so we have space. Okay, let's say I have 4,362 times 9. 4,362 times 9. Well, 4,362 is pretty close to 4,000. And then I'm not going to round my 9. I'm going to just keep 9, 9. Okay, 4 times 9 is 36. And then I have 1, 2, three zeros, so I add one, two, three zeros. So 4,362 times nine is about 36,000. So again, really cool trick. When we add zeros to the end, we can do what's called front end multiplication where you're taking just the digits that aren't zeros, multiplying them, and then you add the zeros on at the end. And then that also helps us when it comes to estimation. And this is actually gonna help us with a lot of our multiplication strategies. Um, as we're learning multiplication strategies, I want you to remember you want to pick strategies that work well for you, but estimation is also a really great way to double check your answer, right? If I am, I can do this really fast in my head, right? 
Okay, this is close to 4,000 times 9, 36,000. If I multiply this actual number and I get something that's way far away from 36,000, I'm probably wrong. Okay, so we can be like, oh, wait, if I estimated that, I got 36,000. But when I multiplied it for real, I only got 3,279. Like, I did something wrong. And so that can help you to catch a mistake before you get the wrong answer. Okay, so again, this is using the multiples of 10 to help us with estimating and multiplication. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.